Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ford here. In this video, we're going to continue exploring melody. But to help us do this, we're going to learn about the staff. The staff is a group of five lines. At the beginning, you see a clef, and at the end, you see a bar line. On these lines, we place our notes. And the great thing about our staff is it helps us to see whether the pitches are low or high. Let's look at this melody as an example. On the first line, the notes are going up. Bum, 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 bum. And on the bottom line, the notes are going down. Bum, 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 bum. And looking at this melody, we see how high and low the notes are. But there is something missing. We don't know how fast or slow each note should be. What we need is to add some rhythm to these notes. There you go. You see, these note heads, our circles, didn't change. But now our notes have stems. Some of the stems are connected with these beams, which means they move a little faster. Listen as I sing through this top line, and watch how these notes aren't quite as fast as the first few. Bum, 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 bum. And if you look at the bottom line, there's a note that's empty in the middle. That means we hold this note even longer. Bum, 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 bum. Let's look at a melody that's a bit more interesting. The name of this song is Be Our Guest, and it's from the movie Beauty and the Beast. This is how it goes. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Cherie, and we'll provide the rest. Soup de jour, hot or dirt, why we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, miss, this is France. And the dinner here is never second best. Go on and vote your menu. Take a glance and then you'll be our guest. We are guests. look at the notes of the beginning of this song. Bum, 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 bum. Here we see the words of our song underneath the staff, and the notes show us the direction and the rhythm of our melody. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Cherie, and we'll provide the rest. What I would like you to consider when looking at melodies like this is, first, a melody is made up of pitches. Those are our high and low notes. And on the staff, the higher notes are higher up on the staff. This word guest is much higher than the word next to it, B. It's a little bit lower on the staff. Second, a melody moves. The first line, B, R, G, S, is going up. Bum, bum, bum. The next phrase is also going up. Bum, bum, bum. And even our third one goes up as well. Bum, bum, bum. But then it kind of falls back down. Bum, 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 bum. And finally, melodies have rhythm. You see, some of these notes are empty in the middle, which mean we hold them a bit longer. We even see some of these riffs, which are moments where we don't hear any sound. It's just silence. For this week, I would like you to try reading music written out this way on a staff. When you do, notice which notes are higher and which notes are lower. Try to follow the shape of the melody and look at the rhythms as well. Are there any notes that are empty in the middle, meaning we hold them longer? Are there any notes connected with beams, meaning they move a little bit faster? In Google Classroom, I have included a link to some other Disney melodies you can use to do this. If you wish to find other songs written out this way, you can also Google the words free sheet music. Until next week, I wish everyone the best, and I hope you find some melodies that you can sing along with at home.